Alright. <clears throat> Again, I asked for burn components to come in, but... Uh... I'm, it's like 50-50 chance I'll actually get somebody who's playing burn. They are, they are playing with burn in their deck, so there's that. But they're playing uh, to sky control. Um, I think I, oh yeah, this was I was really not sure about this hand because I have I don't have the colored mana, and I have three colored spells. But yeah, I go for it. Oh. I figured, um, they did say, well, I was trying to practice against burn. They said they were playing burn in the deck, so. Um, and against a blind opponent, I guess, like, I do have a lot of stuff to try to survive. I was not happy about drawing that abrupt decay. <laughs> but there's a glimmer void on top, so I got that going for me. I'm gonna. I have a crane on top, so I figured, well, if they counter it, then, okay, I have a crane on top anyways. If they don't counter it, then I get to dig. Yeah. Grab a crane. I want to stop that at Johnny. Um, I go to play the needle. My opponent is smart in sacking that flooded strand, so they shuffle away the at Johnny. In hindsight, I kind of wish that I had named Flooded Strand with this needle, but I want to say that I named a Johnny. <coughs> yeah, because really, uh, Just Guy Control is kind of mana intensive. Like, in for, for Snapcaster to even work, they have to have the mana for Snapcaster and whatever they're flashing back. And if you notice here, they got three mana. You know, at most, they can they Electrolyze and Mentally are like the only two relevant spells that they have. Um, so, in hindsight, I wish that I had named um, Flooded Strand, but it's okay. Yeah, I grab a, a Shredder. The opponent is smart to mana leak that. And then I go to Brutality. I, I kind of lure out, because I, I, the reason I play the Shredder first is to lure out a uh, counter. So that I can brutality my opponent because I was afraid they had cryptic, uh, which they do. And then the gold color spell I'm going to draw anyway, so it doesn't matter. Opponent tries to get me to shuffle my library with a path, but I choose not to search. And I grab the cryptic command. So I have to worry about the uh, electrolyze here. Of course, there's a flooded strand on top. Again, I wish I had named flooded strand. Yeah. All right. So I start getting life thanks to Inventor's Fair. I have a Thought Season hand. Uh, opponent is smart and. Um, Oh yeah, I tried to Inquisition. An opponent plays Snapcaster, counters the Inquisition. Which is smart. So now I, uh, I thought sees an opponent in response to Secure the Wastes. <coughs> so I, um, I have that to worry about. And then of course that lets me grab their uh, Electrolyze. Um, here I could uh, tap Glimmer Void, use Ghost Quarter on one of my own lands, go get a basic, and then Abrupt Decay, and then my opponent cannot attack, and I've got control over the draw. But I don't know. I kind of wanted all that, and I wanted to draw that Surgical. So I go for the Surgical. Uh, what did I say? Oh yeah, I want to say I try to Surgical the Cryptics. Yeah, I do. And of course I get them. Um, so here's. My opponent's deck, Snapcasters, and really, after the Cryptic, my opponent's only way to win is through Burn. That's what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 9 points of Burn, I'm at 13 and still gaining life. So I'm pretty safe. There's no way for my opponent to win now, especially when I got an abrupt, I'm about to do my hand with Abrupt Decay.
Yeah, my opponents really, I want to say they were trying to get Think Twice to draw uh, something here. So they were doing all sorts of trying to shuffle effects and whatnot. Uh, and they ended up getting a Logic Knot on top, of all things. I was like, what the crap? So they draw it and counter my spell. But it's okay. Because, again, I'm gaining more life than they have burned in their deck. I'm going to win. Yeah, so opponent concedes. Uh, game two, I did not side in Sun Droplet. I think in hindsight I should have. Um, I do not keep the sand. Uh, I think I get this one. Yeah, because the Grab Digger's Cage and the, I have answer for Stony Silence if I have to worry about it. Yep, Vision's off the top. And an opponent draws interior explosives off of that. I was like, I, I didn't know this, of course. So I do know that my opponent stacked their top card, so I immediately shredder. Uh, there is that chance that maybe they knew that I was I could shredder, and they put the card they want on second from the top. But, yeah, it was a lightning helix. So yeah, they put a, the, the card he wanted on top. So it's pretty good, except my opponent does have continued explosives. Um, now, yeah, okay. Now, in hindsight, um, my opponent again, look, is pretty landlike here, and uh, the only threat they really got is that Vendillion click. So if I had kept my opponent off of lands again, then it might have worked here. I played the seal so that maybe I can like force an engineer explosives pop when they don't want to do it. So basically they can't play anything until they pop the explosives. And uh I didn't, well, I, I have a lantern on top, so I figure I'll draw the lantern, I'll play a lantern and shredder, and I'll be okay. Uh, opponent says during my draw phase or whatever, they're going to even day and click me. And they pulled my lantern, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And tuck it to the bottom. And so I draw another shredder instead. So I play my two shredders. Yeah. So now I, I need something quick, but opponent's got a lot going against me here. Yeah, really, that was that was pretty much game. This game, however, I side in a uh, sun uh, sun droplets. Um. Opponent keeps one land hand. And by this time I've learned, like, they need land. Like, really bad. Just guy control is, like I said, really mana intensive. Um, so I look at this hand and I'm like, yeah, that's not bad at all. Because double ghost quarter with needle to shut off lands. Uh, and I have half the combo here. So, so yeah. Um... Yeah, I end up naming Engineer Explosives with the Needle instead, though, so. But I do notice something interesting here. So I've, um, I play the Lantern, opponent has Island on top. Opponent does not sack the, the Tarn to go get a land. Instead, they wait and draw the Island. So that let me know, I was like, oh, he's kept a land light hand. So if I can keep him off lands, I'll be good. And there's a Shredder on top, so. Oh yeah, the telemarker or not telemarker, I had Robo call call me while we were playing this game. So I played the Sun Droplet. Um
and I mill that land off the top. My uh, opponent does draw a Celestial Colonnade, unfortunately, though. And I figure if they had a counter, they would have countered either the Sun Droplet or the Codex Shader by now. <clears throat> so I go to Stirrings to try to continue to keep them off of land. Oh yeah, he uh, sacked his, whatchamacallit, the strand, if I remember correctly, to go, a strand or tarn, to go get a land. So that shuffled away the colonnade that he was going to draw. So he's stuck on three lands now. And now I have two shredders to try to stop any lands. Uh, I didn't want that logic knot, so I, I sacked the lantern to make him shuffle. I'm not too worried about Serum Visions. They're eventually, I guess, going to get the lands they need. <laughs> but I've got a ton of time now. Uh, really, I think... Uh, that's rough. Maybe it would have been correct for them to play Serum Visions to draw that cryptic. But they... I mean, I think my opponent knows that he needs land as well. Alright, so I go to try to I go to try to mill stuff. Opponent wants to draw that electrolyze in response because they need to be able to counter uh, my hand. They don't know my hand, but you know, um, yeah. So here, uh, yeah. So I know my opponent has the negate. Oh, you have been doing click off the top. An opponent uh, plays a Vendillion click. I can't do it. I can shuffle a lantern away, but that lantern and these shredders are the best thing I got going for me. So I just let it happen. And I figure, well, Sun Droplet's buying me a ton of time anyways. I'll be okay. So, of course, opponent makes me tuck it to the bottom. And I draw my Inquisition. And, of course, what's right underneath Inquisition? Another ensnaring bridge. Heck yeah. <laughs> and the opponent's like, what the crap, dude? So I draw the bridge, and I have a choice here between playing Inquisition or Bridge. And uh, I was really worried about what my opponent had. I knew they had a negate. So I figure worst case scenario, I grabbed the negate with Inquisition. But I didn't have enough information about what my opponent did have. And what, and I, all I knew was milling land seemed to be working. <clears throat> so I played the Inquisition. To get a better idea. And sure enough, I grabbed the negate. So I'm still doing really well, and Sun Droplet's going to continue to gain me a ton of life. Yeah, I go quarter away a land, uh, white producing land, because I knew the Ajani was in hand. And I was really hoping that they wouldn't get another white producing land or that I could be able to get rid of this one eventually too. But right now I have to do the bridge. So at this point I realize my opponent is going to resolve a Johnny. So I just need to dig to a needle before my opponent uh, is able to blow up on my lands with a Johnny. Opponent taps down my Dark Slick Shores with a Johnny. And uh, Sun Droplet's still, like, gaining me a ton of life. That card has, like, been keeping me alive like crazy. And there's another Sun Droplet on top. Uh, oh, yeah, I grabbed the Spell Skite from the, the Crane instead of a Sun Droplet. I'm uh, still trying to keep my opponent off of lands. Finally, I just give up. I'm not able to do it all. So, uh, opponent's still trying to raise Sun Droplet. It's not working. So I'm still doing okay. Uh, my opponent has, like, right now, so it looks like my opponent's only 
uh, chance is to be able to get into a cryptic or something to answer my bridge just for one turn and be able to swing at me uh, with enough damage to get through some droplet. But uh, it's pretty rough going. Grab a crane, grab a pithy needle, so now I can shut off a Johnny. So now he can't even really race Sun Droplet. Uh, cryptic on top, I mill another cryptic on top, and I'm like, crap, man. So now I I could just let my opponent draw it and redirect with the bounce to spell skate, but yeah, then my opponent can like they can just save up and uh, build an army of creatures. And then I'll have one card in hand and opponent attacks on their bridge. I wasn't comfortable with that. And I was like, well, they got 25 cards. I've already milled three cryptics. So what are the chances they're going to get that last cryptic if I shuffle it away with Lantern? You know? So that's what I do. So I sack my Lantern, shuffle it away. I, I still see a negate on top because my opponent forgot to stop revealing the bit. Opponent gets in the gate. Of course, I still remember that my top card is Opal. <clears throat> so I mill it, and I get a blind draw of Extirpate. Holy crap. So now I can just Extirpate all the Cryptics. Can't even counter it with the negate that my opponent drew. <laughs> yeah, opponent's like, wow. So it's pretty nuts. Uh, it was a good draw there. Uh, I do run one extra pate in my side, along with an extra uh, surgical extraction in the side. So, altogether, Sun Droplet did a lot of work in this game. I'm very happy I sided it in for game three, and I should have sided it in for game two, most likely, but, you know. Whew. But, uh, this was a very fun game. <clears throat> but, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that's the screenplay that we just talked about. Talk about that. <laughs> uh, Alright.